The Royal College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, an international organization of professionals in the field of women's reproductive health, recently released a major study of the scientific findings regarding the development of fetal pain in consciousness. They discovered that there is no scientific evidence that a fetus is capable of feeling pain or has any conscious awareness at all prior to the 24th week of development. Their findings were fairly unambiguous and in keeping with the general trend of the findings in this field prior to now. They don't claim that consciousness and pain are clearly present after the 24th week. At that stage we start entering into a pretty massive gray area. But one thing is clear. There is no evidence of fetal consciousness or pain prior to the 24th week. This does not settle the issue once and for all, of course, since there is still large amounts that we don't understand about the brain, its development, and precisely how pain and consciousness are manifested therein. This is, of course, to say nothing of the perpetual openness of science to the revising of its own findings. At the same time, however, this finding does place a pretty clear burden of proof upon those who wish to maintain that a fetus is conscious and can feel pain prior to the 24th week. This report is highly significant to the abortion debate for obvious reasons, but when you look at a statistical breakdown of when abortions occur in the United States, it becomes overwhelming. These figures here come from a 2002 report by the Centers for Disease Control, and as you can see, less than 2% of abortions in the U.S. occur after the 20th week of development. And in case you don't trust the CDC, here are the figures from the website of Operation Rescue, a notorious pro-life organization, placing the percentage of abortions after the 20th week even lower, at only 1%. Figures from other industrialized nations are roughly comparable. Sadly, the CDC's survey doesn't look in detail at the fraction of abortions that take place after the 20th week, meaning that they don't have data on the key time frame of the 24th week. The Guttermacher Institute, an independent nonprofit organization, did a survey in 1997 which estimated that the number of abortions in the U.S. past the 24th week are approximately 1,032 per year, or roughly 0.08% of all abortions in the country. The numbers from Fox News' website are even lower, at only 100 abortions performed at more than 24 weeks gestation, or approximately 0.01% of all abortions performed in the U.S. This means that between 99.92 and 99.99 percent of all abortions in the United States take place before the fetus is capable of feeling pain or has any awareness of its own existence or its surroundings at all. This is not by any means an argument ender on the issue of abortion. Moral questions cannot be solved simply by looking at scientific data. The pro-life position can, and often does, argue that consciousness and capacity to feel pain are not the primary moral considerations with respect to abortion. At the same time, however, any discussion of abortion needs to take place in the context of a full and complete understanding of the medical and scientific facts. If we are going to have a rational informed discussion of abortion, we need to make sure that we have a robust understanding of the pertinent facts that are currently available to us.